All right. Yes. Yes, we did it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that was. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves10yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on guys and welcome back to another gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing very well today. If you didn't check out, we do have another video that should have already gone up. I hope. I hope I'm doing this in the correct order. I'm recording early, so we'll see. Uh, if you are not already, also, quick reminder, please make sure you subscribe. It really does mean a lot. Like the video if you enjoy it. All of that stuff makes a huge difference for us small-time creators, so I do encourage you to do so. Please feel free. If you don't like the video, that's okay. Uh, feel free to down it, but either way, I just appreciate it. But let's talk about today's deck, because it is a silly one. This is an idea that I had. Uh, I don't think it's good. I, I just don't, but we're going to try it out. Uh, the idea was really, I, I found this Vadric uh, Astral Archmage, and I really like this card. It's a three mana one, two. Uh, if it's either neither day or night, it becomes day uh, as it enters the, the battlefield. But instant and sorcery spells you cost cast X less, where that is its power, essentially. Uh, so whenever it becomes day or night, you also put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So the idea is this gets cheap. Basically, it cheapens up all of your instants and sorceries as you go along. Uh, the big ones that we have are Seagate Restoration and Magma Opus. We do have Pri uh, Prismari Command here as well in case, but we also have Rowan and Will to cheapen things up. Uh, and the idea is to play a lot of like Dual Strike as well as uh, Galvanic Iteration to be able to then copy the spells that you're playing for extraordinarily cheap thanks to all these little cheapening kind of deals. Uh, we also have Light Up the Night as an X spell. This is going to be able to potentially finish the opponent off uh, is kind of the idea. Uh, and then Multiple Choice here to gain a lot of extra value as well. We do have Wizard Class in here to keep our hand size at whatever we need it to as well as drawing a couple cards. The counters also really help with the Vadric as well if you can get that going. Uh, Arcane Infusion, just a new card from Innistrad that I thought I'd try out. I love the flashback aspect of all of this because, again, they're still cheaper, so we still get to play them for very little. Uh, and the idea being you can search out some instants and sorceries as we need to, specifically some of these big ones uh, that we need to finish the game. Not going to go into too much detail because I kind of just want to jump into this one and see how it goes. I really doubt this is going to work very well. I just don't think it is, but we're having fun today. I'm, I'm throwing caution to the wind. We're just going to do the best we can and have a good time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into game one. All right, guys, here we are for game one. Uh, and I'm going to I'm going to say we can't really keep this. Uh, we've got all four Vadricks in our hand. Uh, not the best. Uh, this is much better. I will happily take this. Um, it's a little bit do nothing with the all the the double up spells, but we can go ahead and uh, foretell this and, you know, do some stuff like that. So we'll give it a shot. Um, like I said, this deck isn't good. <laughs> uh, we're going to have just a fun time, though, regardless. Guys, I hope everybody is doing well today. I've had a, a really, really fun time with this Innistrad uh, standard. I'm really enjoying it. I hope that you guys are. I hope you're having a good time with it. It's fun to just try some new stuff out. That's all it is. Uh, it's it's really exciting, in my opinion. So I'm all too happy to uh, be trying some stuff here. Hopefully having a good time along with you all. Uh, I hope everybody's pre-release went well as well. We uh, we had that question of the day, I believe, yesterday. Uh, and I certainly hope everybody had a great time. Uh, I think what we're going to do is this. And then go ahead and Arcane Infusion. Uh, what do we want? We'll definitely take the Opus. Um, and Prismari Command. That was really the one I was hoping we could get because that does allow us to kind of deal with some of what's going on here. Uh, it also does give us a treasure token, which is quite nice. Um, so that's pretty good. Also worth noting, the draw and discard here is very good because we do have so many little flashback spells uh, that it's pretty easy to kind of gain a lot of extra value here. All right. Um... This isn't the best, uh, but it's something. We got to deal some damage somehow, uh, or get something off the field somehow, but chances are we're just going to die. <laughs> uh, 
and that's okay. That is fine with me. Again, just enjoying what is a very silly deck. Probably need a little more burn in here, but we've got uh, a number of different ways to burn some stuff out, so. Wow. Wow. So much stuff. Uh, Hobgoblin, by the way, extraordinarily good. Uh, this is obviously just a really good deck. Yeah. We just gonna die. <laughs> uh, sure. Look a land. Um... Yep, we're going to go ahead and concede. Let's move on. We're going to game two. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for game number two, and I will keep this. This is about a much more interactive hand with the double Prismari command, uh, so I think that this might be a little better. We got the Snarl. Let's go ahead and throw that out. Uh, again, chances are we're not going to win a single game with this, but we're going to have just a fun time trying. That's all that matters. Um, good call. We can kill that. That's very helpful. Um, we'll throw out that island, and I think I'll just go ahead and uh, throw the Magma Opus out as a uh, treasure token here. What that allows us to do is just make sure that we're progressing our mana. It ramps us a little bit. Um, it's not necessarily the most powerful thing we can do, but it's something. I like it. Ooh, there's another Snarl. We'll throw this out. Um, I have to wonder if they've got something to do or to deal with this, but let's deal two damage and I actually think we're going to draw. Uh, we do need to get a little further into our deck here, so let's go ahead. Let's get rid of this uh, Kalane. Kalane? I hope that's um, correct in saying that. Um, oh, very cool. All right. Um, wow, two lands. I'm super glad we did that. We don't want multiple lands. Um, Kind of getting mana flooded here a little bit. Uh, hmm. All right, they're just going to deal two, uh, scry one, and then they're able to attack in for quite a bit here. Again, we're not winning. We're not winning. There is no way. Um, or can we? Um, technically, we can... So here's what we can do. We can do this and then Prismari Command, which is going to double thanks to the Galvanic Iteration. We're going to do this and we're going to do... I think we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to get that auto pay. The reason we want the treasure token is because we do want to get to this Magma Opus at some point. Uh, two and that. So we're going to create two treasure tokens <clears throat> and deal with the uh, Draco, Draco Lich. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so we're one, well, two mana short, really, next turn. Uh, next turn will be one mana short uh, from playing Magma Opus. Not great, if I'm honest, but it's something. Um, yep. They're gonna get some damage in with the uh, the rotted reunion. This card is very good in my opinion. Um, I really want to make a control deck where the only win condition is the reunion. <laughs> um, it's like a super bad win, but I think it's a silly one. Uh, it doesn't really work either because they all have decayed, but I think it'd be funny. Uh, yeah, you got it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let's do this, I suppose. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're just dead. All right, let's concede again. <laughs> let's move on to game three. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for game three, and we'll try this one out. It's not great. We're going to try it. <laughs> I don't have high hopes, can you tell? They're dwindling uh, as we go along here. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> that's perfectly fine. We're just here to have fun today. All right, uh, let's see. What's the opponent going to do? Oh, perfect. So good. <laughs> um, hmm. So we can infusion at the end of their turn if we'd like. I guess we can do it now. It doesn't really matter. It's a nice thing about instant speed, you can just kind of do this. Um, we'll take the Magma Opus. We've got plenty of stuff to cheapen it, so like we have some options here. I think we'll probably end up playing Rowan out. 
Um, is that what we want to do? Alternatively, we can play wizard class, but I think I think Rowan's better. They don't have any pressure on the field, so like, let's go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, I think that's probably the best. And if we can, we can ultimate this at some point. That would be kind of nice. Um, what do we need? A lot. <laughs> to not die. <laughs> uh, they are going to mill us pretty quickly here, so that's a bit of a worry. Um, and we don't have a land. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Um, okay, so. What can we do? Um, if we're going to plus that up. It might just be to play this out. Chances are they've got a frostbite or a counter here. Um, either way is kind of fine. Yeah. All right. Uh, good news is we do actually get to ultimate Rowan if we want this turn, uh, which is kind of nice. These all have flashbacks, so we do have a lot of flashback opportunity. They're just kind of filling our yard with things we can play again. Um, sadly, though, they're really milling us, so chances are this is gonna not go so well. All right, um... I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> hmm. I think we are going to die. Uh, let's plus up really quick. I kind of want to keep Rowan around if we can help it. And I'm going to actually throw this out. We'll see if this is actually working or not. I really doubt it. Um, so next turn we ultimate Rowan. Um, which does allow us to then just freely kind of, not freely, but basically we just get to copy a bunch of stuff, um, if we want. There's a land. That's helpful. Go ahead and mine us. Um. <laughs> oh, man. We are not going to get there, are we? Uh. This is so bad. <laughs> this is not a good deck. Um, let's do this. And I will copy it. Um, sure. Problem is we don't have very many cards left in our deck, so... <laughs> this isn't really a great place to be. That Prismari Command does help because we can get the Ruin Crab potentially off the field. Uh, and I'll take the multiple choice as well. All right. This is so bad. We have so many options in our hand, uh, to be fair. Oh, watch the Millus Cacophony. I assume. Oh no. Okay, yeah, that's scary as crap. All right, we got six cards left. We got this. Um, no we don't, we're super dead. Super, super dead. All right, let's do this. I'm going to copy the Prismari command here. We're going to deal to create a treasure. Deal to create treasure. We're going to auto pay, deal to create a treasure. All right. We have mana. <laughs> All right. We're so dead. This is such a do nothing deck. Uh, I love it. Um. All right. Why did we play this? Why did we play such a silly deck? It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. I'm going to assume they have a counter, which they really don't have to counter very often or very much to, to beat us here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have exactly enough for a magma opus, which is most likely going to get countered. Alternatively, we can do this. Um, which I don't like because it draws us a card. <laughs> Dude, whatever. We're just going to do this. Uh, tap two. Tap these two. We're so dead. Obviously, we can't pay Rowan. Why do you even bring this up? <laughs> yes. 
Ugh, we're so dead. <laughs> we suck so much. <laughs> Today is a day where we fail. But look at all the cards we could play if we had land. That's what we need is land. We just didn't draw any. They milled all of them. Such a, such a silly thing. Such a, such a silly thing. Yep. Cool. Yep. Look, a land. Um. <laughs> I mean, like, what do we do? Um, we're just dead. Can I just kill myself? Is that a possibility? Can we make that happen? I don't know. We're just going to get four. Doesn't matter, we're so dead. Uh, choose a player, you. We did it. Uh, you know what, we'll play the wizard class. <laughs> we doubly have no maximum hand size, which super matters. Super matters. All right, we're dead. They did it. Well done. That was so bad. Oh, that was so bad. We're gonna give this one more game, guys. One final game. Uh, and I really doubt it's gonna work, but I want to give it the chance that it deserves because we haven't yet <laughs> We're gonna do this guys. I believe in us. Uh, yes, this is an easy easy keep actually uh, We've got the curve that we want. So I'm pretty happy with this. Let's hope we don't die All right this wizard class deploy Yes, we got this uh, we need more burn. That's what we need. Or just like a sweeper would be helpful against these style decks, which is what you expect to see, to be fair, in, uh, in these kinds of, uh, ladders. So, I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna leave up the two mana. We're gonna play it smart. Uh, we can instant speed the infusion, so that's fine. <laughs> Perfect. Now we're super gonna die. Um... Lyric class is very good. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well, Arcane Infusion. Maybe we just need counters. Maybe that's what we need. I'm going to take the multiple choice. Um, yeah, I'm going to try it. We'll see. Uh, I think we're going to end up playing Vadric here. Uh, this cheapens up obviously everything, but it also just gives us a little blocker for these guys. Um, granted, if they just play a creature, they're going to gain enough life that that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, no blocks. We're taking it all. We're just dead. Um, <laughs> we're dead already. Oh, man. I mean, we're just... We're, we're just... We're dead. Um... I mean, what the heck, people? I'd like this to be four, but it doesn't matter. If only. You know? If only, if only. Wow, they just gotta replay it. What a flex. All right, we're doing one more, guys. That took no time at all. We're doing one more. This deck sucks. Guys, this deck is really bad. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, wizard class, go. Next turn, we'll probably just spit out the Magma Opus, to be honest. Um, oh, actually, uh, we'll dual shot or dual strike. Go ahead and foretell that. I mean, there's no reason not to, really. Um, double Vadric is kind of crappy, but it looks like the opponent might be having a bit of a slow start, which is great news for us. Next turn, we can just draw with the wizard class if we need to. Um, obviously, we'll see what they've got. They might be able to deal with Fadric as well. I don't know. But if they don't trance or if they don't play anything. Oh, uh, OK. 
That's different. Um, that's an interesting way to deal with Fadric. Uh, what do we actually want to do here? Um, I think I'm just going to draw a couple cards here. Yeah, I think that's okay. Um, we'll pass. What an odd card. Minimus Containment. I've like never seen this card. Be honest. I've not seen it. Um, but that's fine. Um, I might just level up the wizard class or... Interesting. Is this just like a... What, what, what is this? What, what's this deck? What's this doing? I'm very confused by this. Um, Prismari Command would be great. We could blow up a bunch of stuff. Seems pretty solid. Uh, alternatively, we can just play Will. Uh, which I do like. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start plussing him up. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Submit zero. I want to get this to, to seven. And uh, ideally... Reach permanent exile this way, yeah. I'd like to be able to to ultimate there. Um, next turn, we've got some options. We can do some cool stuff. We'll see. Five, six. So one more land and we can just magma opus. Um, which is pretty good. Alternatively, we could just wizard class. I mean, we got plenty of options. So because we're against a potentially slow deck, we might have this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean... Seems pretty good. So they just get to kill Rowan here. Uh, if they'd like. It also has Vigilance, that's interesting. Um, does this give the Vigilance? Yeah, okay. All right, Rowan's down. I'm not doing anything, I don't know why. Oh, because of the dual strike it's asking me. This does have instant speed on it, so we could do that, but nope. Um, all right. Hmm. I'm gonna tap this for blue and play this. Um, probably just play the other wizard class here. And I think we'll just pass here. So it's going to get a counter. So now it's a little bit cheaper to play the Magma Opus, which we might get to play. I'm not sure. I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, okay. Rude. Such a good card. Uh, yeah. So we're just gonna equip that up. Uh, wow. That's kind of not the best for them. Um. We didn't draw land, did we? No, we did not. Okay, so. We need X to equal... I mean, we can actually just kind of make it equal a lot, but let's do this. This is going to mean x equals 3. That's auto pay. Uh, and we'll target them with the other one. Um, yep. That goes just back to their hand. That's so frustrating. Um... I'll attack in, because I'm not going to block with that, obviously. Hmm. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Yep. This is an interesting one. I mean, we're not out of it. We're not winning it, but we're not out of it. Uh, there's another Magma Opus, which isn't super helpful. Um, we're, like, super gonna take a lot of damage this turn. Um, 
I'm just leveling up the wizard class because at this point, this cheapens up everything that we can hopefully deal with whatever they've got next turn. I don't have a high hope, but uh, this does give us, I think, the best possible chance um, to make this work. Drawing a card. Does this give lifelink? Yeah, okay. That's very good. Um, yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh, wow. Very, very good. Uh, Intrepid Adversary, man. Such a good card. All right. I'm I'm so committed, though. <laughs> I'm so committed to making this work. Um, yes, I know. They get a lot. That's fine. I'm not blocking. We're doing this, guys. We got to do this. Uh, all right. Magma Opus is now super cheap, uh, which is inf amazing, frankly. Um, all right, so here's what we can do. We, nope, not that. Galvanic Iteration and then Magma Opus. So we, I think it doesn't matter the order that we do this in. Tap two permanence, I mean, doesn't matter which, they can just be those. Submit. All right, but then this one comes in. We're going to deal here and just tap these two. All right, so that's going to lessen the power here, which then allows us to... Oh, yeah, and we get tokens on stuff. Or... Yes, do that. Guys, look, I'm not saying this is working, but I'm, it might be working. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm attacking. Screw it. All right, all right, we could do this. Guys, this game is so long. <laughs> oh no. Okay, all right, that sucks, but it's not the end of the world. We've already got, okay, we could just light up the night for a lot right now. We also have multiple choice. They're gonna equip that up, that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, how do we want to do this? I guess is my question. We can, again, double up on Magma Opus, which seems pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to double up on the Magma Opus here. All right, um, tap and tap. And we're going to double it again. We're going to hit this, tap and tap. All right. Now, I know that th that means they can replay this, but I think we're going to be close to the win anyway here. There's the Seagate Restoration we can actually play as well. Um, okay, so we can actually just hit them for a lot right now. Uh... Or we can prolong it. No, we don't want to prolong it. Um, all right, X equals nine. Bam. All right. Yes. Yes, we did it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that worked. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's chat. All right, wasn't that the worst deck you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Uh, we did get it to work though. I'm I'm just happy we got it to work once. That is all I needed. I wanted a fun deck, one that wasn't necessarily gonna be like a good deck or anything, and we made it happen. There are much better builds with this, I am sure, but that was hilarious. Uh, I love this. I think it's hilarious. I'm gonna keep working on it because I think we can I think we can make it better. We can fine tune it. It definitely had a lot of do nothing cards in the beginning. So I think what we need to do is uh, fill it in a little bit. This is way too narrow. So we're going to work on that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've got a silly deck like this, share it with me. I would love to see it. I would love to check out some silly decks. I think those are way more fun generally. Uh, and so please do share those. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you again very soon.